Inman Square, Cambridge, Massachusetts, USA. Conditions through 2019. The right-hand lane on Cambridge Street westbound is a right-turn-only lane. The opposite direction also has a right-turn-only lane, which narrows the other lanes. A bicyclist who starts in the right-hand lane and follows the shared lane markings must merge into the through lane while crossing the intersection. But unless skillful and assertive at merging will be trapped to the right of the faster motor traffic. As my lime green arrows show, the available width decreases bit by bit. The bicyclist is forced to the left of a bulb out and then into the door zone of a row of parked cars. It is a safe option to wait next to the traffic island in the middle of the intersection. Then, when there is a gap in traffic, merge left and control the travel lane, avoiding the door zone. The city has provided no guidance for this option, and it delays bicyclists. A safe, practical, and legal option is to merge into the through travel lane before the intersection and to ride across in line with the motor traffic. December 7, 2017. This is my route. I'm already in the through travel lane and I happen to be first in line. Motorists are waiting to my right and behind me. The first vehicle behind me is protecting me from following ones. I'm slowing traffic in the through lane, but cars can pass me in the turn lane. If I started there, I'd have to merge left and control the through lane anyway to avoid an unsafe, close pass. The Amanda Phillips ghost bike is on the right. Her right handlebar end struck an opening car door and she went under a passing truck. Where the parking leaves off, I release to the right so the following vehicles can pass. Ahead is the start of a separated bikeway, but that's another story.